Hello and welcome back to the channel. And uh, we are continuing our Let's Play series on Fenton Forest Farm. And um, today we are doing part two of this series. So, welcome. So, before we kick off today, please subscribe to the channel if you like our content. And uh, like this video if you like the video. Um, and uh, hit that bell notification icon uh, when you subscribe so you get notified of new content. Also, um, if you have any suggestions, um, things you'd like to see, please drop them in the comments to the video. I do check them regularly. So, um, welcome. So, we're going to kick off today. Here we are on Fenton Forest and we are basically going to be doing a bit more field work around the farm. Last uh, episode, we essentially kicked off uh, some of the work on the farm by basically processing a couple of fields. We did field two and we worked on field one. I got those cultivated and ploughed ready for doing some work. What we're going to do here is we are going to set off um, dealing with one of our uh, actually two of our fields um, so we have uh, field 22 uh, 3 and 5 these all need some prep work effectively we're going to basically do the cultivation and plowing and get those kind of going and then once we've kind of dealt with those um, we will also and do a little bit of um, ancillary work. So one of the things I want to do, as we have the DLC for the precision farming uh, mod installed, I think we maybe just grab a couple of those um, additions and have a look at seeing how we can utilize them. So this is the field we're going to do, and this is our biggest plow sort stroke cultivator um, so this is probably going to be a nice big field to do so we use course play on here and um, partly because I'm kind of more managing the farm than anything else we're going to start here at the top the north western corner um, we're going to do the field no headlands needed because we've got tons of space on the edges here we're going to do a single tool um, that actually isn't right. Um, starting direction, longest edge. Yeah, that's all we want to do. I guess that's. Yeah, we want to do it this way around. Um, so we've got the starting direction is manual, we're doing it at 270 degrees, so we are going from the west to east, and that should do the trick. We shall save this. Field 22. Oops. Wow. This is the 18 metre. Yeah. So we'll save that. And we will start that off. Now, I'm going to pop out of here. That's going to get going. Um, what we need to do is run back to the farm. It's not a long way. We do need to then grab the other tractor we have. It's a long, a long, long run. I should have brought another vehicle, but um, such is life. Um, we don't have that field there on the left, but we do have this one. This is our beautifully ploughed um, and cultivated field, ready to do something with. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to purchase the soil sampling equipment, and we're going to do some soil sampling. Um, kind of not really sure how this works. Um, do you kind of can you do the entire field? At once, do you have to, uh, you know, can you drive around and sort of do spots? Um, 
really not sure how it works properly. Um, so I kind of want to just kind of get an idea. So we're going to try it out um, in this episode. But first we need to get some things doing a bit of work. So what I'm going to do I'm going to where is the um, where's the Land Rover at? Um, so I was thinking, you know, I think I've got the Follow Me mod installed. I've got the Follow Me mod installed. There it is. What I might do is just get a Follow Me mod to um, I'm really bad. It's one of the, the the one things that I can't really do particularly well. Is reversing. It's been my Achilles heel of my entire farming sim career. I did try Euro Truck Simulator once, and uh, let's just say um, I had no end of hassle um, driving those. And I could drive forwards fine. It's the uh, it's the old, uh... so in theory I have the follow me mod installed, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping, well, it's just lights, mm. so I'm Remember the follow me mod. Um, I can't remember if I first of all actually got it installed, to be honest. Um, second off, I don't know how it works. Um, I really don't remember. So let me just double check actually. Um, so for those who use pretty sure there's a so many mods installed. Kind of gotta figure out what's what. Uh, follow me. Toggle on right control F. There we go. So it's such a long time since I've played uh, farming sim. Um, Kind of one of those games um you kind of got to get into playing it um and I, I say i haven't played it in a long time um so i kind of didn't really sort of get into it after a while I played it for a bit and then we've uh, we've had taken a bit of a break so what we're gonna do So we're right shift F to get the guy behind us to actually disengage. Don't know where he's gone though. Oh no, he's there, he's hiding. So what we need to do is clear out this course. We generate a new course, we're doing field three. Uh, we will do southwest again. 
here at field cuts. Looks good. Just check something. Yeah, that's the same, so. Is that the old uh, horse details? Drive that course. Now we've got a vehicle we can drive back. And, uh, yeah, so let's drive back. So. You see that's in the way that's going on the other field, that's looking good. So what we will do now is we shall grab well, we've got is that weed or something on there? I think we've got weeds growing. So I think we'll need to I need to get like um, prep stuff. We need to go weed killer um, I completely forgot about all of these things. We've got weed killer needed. We've got a. Um, oh, we have so many things we have to buy. So let's just have a look, actually, uh, at the store. So typically, what I do is medium tractors offer things like spreaders and weeders and the like. Um, Small tractors are for jobs like potentially rollers, um, in this case, soil sampling. Um, so let's grab ourselves a small tractor. Let's think, what shall we use? Um, do we want something cool? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different um, machines on this uh, from when I last kind of played. So. Uh, some other, you know, we've got this the MF. I, I do like the massive Ferguson's, um, New Hollands and Vultures, different Vultures. Let's go with this N series Vulture actually. That looks kind of cool. Um, let's see, let's have a look at the, the, the wheel setup options. We'll do the wide tyres, let's just go wheel weights. Um, let's go, let's go with the blue, actually, the blue looks nice. Want a front loader attachment, just in case, we want the best engine set up. Um, yeah, let's, let's buy, buy two of these. Um, actually, let's buy three of these, because um, I have an idea what I need these for. Um, so. Because we've got some weeds that I just noticed on our um, on our plot, we kind of need some weeding technology. We also need some fertilizer technology as well. But um, uh, we've got weeders. We can. I'm not sure how the weeders work. Um, 15 meter width weeder. We could go with sprays. Let's see what we've got. Um, sprayers, sprayers. Kind of like the idea of a sprayer, to be honest. Um, kind of what I used last time I played this map um, on 2019. Um trying to find the sprayers I can't see for this uh, crop protection there we are. Um so what did we use? So I'm pretty sure what's the width on this? 21, it's 36. So I'm pretty sure I got one of Let's buy two of these and we will color this. Let's 
Now, what's the design color? This is going to be for white color. So we're going to do it red. So I'm going to buy one of these. And we're going to buy these. Oops. So get the extension. So this will be for weed killer. Uh, then we will get one which will be for fertilizer. So we'll get that as well. We'll go back. So we've got those. So we've got a fertilizer, we've got a weed killer fertilizer, and we need one other thing. Now I'm actually going to buy. I am going to buy. So this is the soil sampling unit. So we need this. So we're going to buy that. Now I don't think we need a tractor for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy something a bit fun for this. Um, so hold on. Uh, we need to be in cars. So. believe it fits on one of these. Let's grab one of these. Extension capacity. Uh, best engine setup after all. Uh, top speed is stupid amount of money. Um, so we may, oops, we might as well just get these delivered to the farmyard. Um, We basically have all of these sort of things. It saves us picking them up there and transporting them back. We might do some transporting of this sort of stuff later, but I think for the moment we'll just do it this way. It's kind of easy. Also means we can get on with things a bit quicker. So we've got three tractors. We've got a fertilizer and so on. So what we're going to do is actually going to do this one first. Uh, let's do a little bit of soil sampling, I guess. Um, I'll figure out how it works. It's kind of the cutest little vehicle ever. Pretty sure. Mm. I hope it fits. I don't think it should fit. I'm pretty sure I saw if I've bought this and it doesn't work, I'm going to be kind of upset. No, it doesn't fit. This is weird because I saw a picture for this mod and it is using one of these as the vehicle. Um, so what we'll do is just, we'll park this for the moment. We'll use one of the tractors we just bought um, to do this. Not sure what we're going to do with them, but that's fine. We've got these little tractors. Um, So I saw, I'm pretty sure, I saw, um, boom. 
did see basically when I was looking at the mod originally. That it would fit onto things. So let's go and take a look at this field. Ooh. So, from what I understand, how this works is you kind of basically just drive across your field. Um, I have to unfurl the thing. And you drive, you take a soil sample by basically going to a spot, hitting B, and it goes away and takes a soil sample. You drive around on your field. I don't know if you have to kind of um, if you could like if you can do a helper. No, there's no there's no helper option here, but you drive around, take samples, we've got a count of the samples taken, so we've done three so far. Um, And then when you're done with a field, you send them to the lab, as it were, and the lab does some analysis. And on that screen in the, the escape menu, you've got um, you've got data, essentially, things like soil pH, nitrogen content, um, and so on. So what we'll do is we will kind of do the sampling and then take a look at what the results are. how many of these to do um, really don't I don't know how, how it's one of those things it's kind of a new mechanic I think they only added it as a DLC in December of 2020 I think it's one of those new it's a sort of kind of new feature We sort of have. I've got to get used to it. See what what's what. It looks interesting. It looks kind of makes this idea when you when when I want to play in this sort of farm manager kind of mode. This is the kind of thing a farm manager would do, or have done, is collect data on the field, figure out what to grow, and um, essentially figure out what prep needs to be done. So this is one of those. You know, in the past, what you do with farming sim is you you just get this kind of status on a field that you need to fertilise or plough or whatever. And I think this is one of those features that change that. Let's uh, get on, and uh, yeah, so this is data-driven farming, I guess. So we have. How many of these we need to really do? Done. It's our twelfth one in this field. Um, we'll look at some of this. So, I'm just going to do one more in this gap here. send it for analysis. So we've done 12 for this field. Um, so it's Y for send. Cell samples are now sent to lab for analysis. You will see the results in the map. So the other field that we prepped uh, 
is the field one. Okay, well, let's head over there. And let's kind of do that field too. So all of the fields will have to do this on a roll. Um, I think. I don't know how. The, the data basically, it does I believe expire. Um, so there is an expiry on it. So it's one of those pieces we might have to do on a regular basis. Um, so we've got our other field that we've prepped as well. So this is going to probably tell us basically um, we need to you know put fertilizer to increase the yield. Um, maybe the crops we run. I don't know. I, I mean it's one of those. And we're trying it out. It's a new. It's a new mechanic. Um, so, as it's a new mechanic, I'm kind of, you know, trying it out. So, we can't swap those. Too far further than we actually want to take. That's fine. I wonder if there's actually a course play tool that we can do this with. I wonder. Especially on that big field, it's going to be quite the job actually be quite the job on that big field I mean even this is what we've done five now we haven't even done one side um, we'll probably have to do this what 18 we did 12 on the other field um, and we'll do like three rows Possibly. There's actually a shed up here now. They've put a shed. He's put a shed on this end. Never used to be a shed on here. In the old version of this map, it was no shed. Um, there was no shed on that field at the end there. Um, which would actually scupper any plans that we could do to do a a custom um, uh, field shape or course play because that's taking up space um, what I did last time is I kind of went right up to the tree line so that basically I had all the tree lines um, by the edge and right up to the very edge where the water was so we kind of maximise the possible use of grass. Because after all it is grass. And grass is, um, grows on the verge. Grows length to a length on the verge as well as the, the grass you plant. Um, so the end result is you get more out of the field when you cut the verges. Um, so we are basically... We do need a savage field. Uh, and then white... Um, not sure what field's going to be the size field yet.
there we have it so let's send all the samples off they go what's up head back to the farm and, um, let's check out the data and uh, see what we have need to sort of, I think we're going to need to do some pla um, planting, some fertiliser obviously. Um, we will need to do some weeding and so on. But um, we need to get some bits and pieces on the farm up and running. Once we've got some things planted we can start looking at other jobs. So production and the like we can get those kicked off because once we've got that growing phase underway we will have other tasks that we can do on the farm so let's kind of just wait here so let's um so one of our uh plow machines has stopped um we shall visit that one it in a short while. First, let's quickly look at the data. So here's a precision farming tab. We've sent some soil samples. As you can see, these are the spots we've taken samples. Uh, we have different types of soil. We have loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, salty clay, and uh, yeah, that's basically what we've got. We've sent these to be analysed. Um, as you can see, we've got some sand, we've got some clay, we've got some loam, some loam, sandy loam. Um, these are basically what we've got on those fields. We can check out the pH. So the pH in this field is mostly in this kind of uh, six to five, maybe six zero range to sort of six fifty. And this one is kind of in the 575 to 650 range. Um, I don't know what we need to do to fix that. This is the hydrogen level, sorry, the nitrogen levels. Um, so I'm guessing we need to fertilize. Uh, yield uh, doesn't give us any yield data at the moment. I think that comes from when we actually plant something. Um, but yeah. That's kind of the data. We've got 30 soil samples taken. Um, this is the kind of the cost and data so far. We spent 4,000 prepping this. Um, this one here, we've spent some time prepping. Um, but um, we will do some, some various bits of data on this one um, shortly. So... With that, I think we'll end today's episode here. And um, whilst we head over to collect our worker. So thank you for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Farm Life and Fenton Forest. Um, I will be back in part three. We shall probably, I'm not sure what we'll be doing part three, um, but I think we'll be doing some planting related activities um, and fertilising and so on. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode and look at the precision farming uh, mechanics around soil sampling. Um, I will probably have a bit more information about how this all works next time out. But um, thanks for watching and we shall see you guys next time.